the tradition has long since petered out. But at Easter time in the late 1700s and well into the 1800s, the gentry of Dublin were known for taking day trips to Enniskerry or Bray to picnic by the banks of the River Dargle. Little wonder, then, that locals refer to these outings as Dargles. The lesser well-off boot-making fraternity of Dublin, the Cobblers, who were known in Dublin as Waxies, because of the waterproof wax they applied to their boots and shoes. They held their own Dargles near Scald Hill, between Irish Town and Sandy Mount. Scald Hill, not too far from Dublin, was also known as Scallet Hill or Scarlet Hill, or Brickfield, because the area was known for providing good clay for making bricks. On Easter Monday and Whit Monday, fleets of horses and carts would gather at Nelson's Pillar, from where Jarvis would ferry the waxies to their destination. <laughs> A bit like the famous Donnybrook Fair. At the Waxies Dargle, food and drink was served from tents, and the sounds of fiddles and melodions thundered across Sandy Mount Strand. According to a report published in the Freeman's Journal on the 20th of May 1869, the Waxies Dargle was known by an alternative name. The report stated that three rowdies had just been hauled before Magistrate Dix in Dublin, charged with assaulting in Irish Town Constable 137E, and that all three offenders had been excursionists to the Cobbler's Dargle. The latter comment surely puts pay to the modern myth that Waxies was another name for candle makers. The shenanigans that took place in and around Scald Hill were still retained in folk memory into the first half of the 20th century. For example, in May 1919, a grand fete was held in Dublin Shelburne Park, one of the attractions being a donkey race for the Waxies Dargle Derby. James Joyce name-checked this boot-maker's bash in Ulysses, his Miles Crawford character alluding to two elderly Dublin ladies at Nelson's Pillar being out for the Waxies Dargle. During the folk boom of the 1960s, snippets of a ballad called The Waxies Dargle fell into the capable hands of Johnny Moynihan, Andy Irvine and Terry Woods, a Dublin-based outfit collectively known as Sweeney's Men, who in 1967 had a hit with The Old Maid in the Garret. Johnny Moynihan recalled hearing the first verse being sung in some unnamed location and was at a loss to find the remaining stanzas. When he mentioned the ballad to his friend, Colm O'Leary, a cameraman and filmmaker, O'Leary was able to supply him with some additional words, but only the first two lines of the second verse. In need of more lyrics, Moynihan approached Dave Smith, then a member of the four-part harmony group, The Press Gang, and it was Dave Smith who composed the remainder of the second verse. I made up the third, said Moynihan, and added a chorus. The lyrics now complete, Sweeney's men wedded the verses to the melody of The Girl I Left Behind Me, which is known in Irish as An Spalpin Fanuc or The Travelling Labourer. <laughs> The Waxies Dargle single 
recorded in just three takes, was released on the Pi label at the end of January 1968. The music reviewer for the Dublin Evening Herald held out great hopes for this very humorous, very musical ditty, saying it should be a runaway hit, a big success. By late February 1968, the single reached the number 8 spot in the Irish charts and managed to climb to the number 5 position a few weeks later. Just before spinning the disc on his Radio Erin radio show, Gay Byrne announced that the ballad concerned itself with festivities that once took place at the River Dargal. His comment eliciting a stream of letters from baffled listeners in and around Dublin. Byrne used his Evening Herald column to defend his remarks, claiming that he had merely based his observations on the information supplied to him. More letters followed. While old Dubliner claimed that the Waxy's Dargle was a kind of a fair or market that lasted for four or five days, DJC stated that the Dargle was definitely held in Irish town, close, he said, to where C Point House now stands. A man who quotes his sources always impresses me no end, said Gay Byrne, who gave the final word to Michael Ward of Laytown, County Meath, citing passages from John Cannon O'Hanlon's authoritative book, Irish Local Legends, published in 1896. Ward correctly claimed that the Waxies of Dublin held their shindigs in Irish town. Thankfully, all three members of Sweeney's men are still hale and hearty. After the group went their separate ways, Johnny Moynihan joined the ranks of Planksty, Dedanon, and the Fla Cowboys. Andy Irvine also became a member of Planksty before teaming up for a while with Paul Brady. Terry Woods joined Steel Eye Span, then Shane McGowan and the Pogues. And in 1984, the Pogues recorded a punk folk version of the Sweeney's 1968 hit. In July 2012, Sweeney's men got together for a special concert in Dublin's Vicar Street. The audience singing and clapping along to Says my all one to your all one. And so ends the story of the Waxies Dargal. <laughs> Says my all one to your all one, will you come to the Waxies Dargal? Says your all one to my all one, sure I haven't got a farden. I went down to Monto Town and I asked young Kilmacardle, but he wouldn't lend me the half a crown to go to the Waxies Dargal. What are you having? Will you have a pint? Yes, I'll have a pint with you, sir. And if one of yous doesn't order soon, we'll be thrown out of the boozer. Says my old one to your old one, will you come to the Galway races? Says your old one to my old one, with the price of my old lad's braces. I went down to Capel Street to the jewel man money lenders, but they wouldn't give me a couple of bob on my old lad's red suspenders. What are you having? Will you have a pint? I'll have a pint with you, sir. And if one of yous doesn't order soon, we'll be thrown out of the boozer. Says my old one to your old one, we have no beef nor mutton. But if we go down to Monto Town, we might get a drink for nothing. Here's a nice piece of advice I got from an old fishmonger. 
When food is scarce and you see the hearse, you'll know you've died of hunger. What are you having? Will you have a pint? I'll have a pint with you, sir. And if one of you's losing order, soon we'll be thrown out of the boozer. Ding, 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 ding